Hi, welcome to Evermentor YouTube channel. So whatever the video we are going to see uh, in this one, I think it will be the wonderful news to both net qualif net JRF qualified candidates as well as the non net candidates also. Okay. So what exactly this video is that basically if any one university announces the PhD admission, if any let's take one physics department total 10 number of vacancies are there. So if the 10, I mean total 30 candidates came for the interview or the admission process, out of the 30 candidates, if the 10 candidates are having the net or the JRF qualification, then the universities will take all the net or JRF qualified candidates for those 10, 10 vacant seats. And the non UGC net candidates, remaining 20 candidates has to go back, right? So to avoid this situation, the UGC taken a new initiation of course, uh, it's uh, yet to be uh, come into implementation, okay. So what is this new step is that whatever the university, either state or the central university, if they announce the admission notification, 60 percentage of the seats has to be provided to net or the JRF qualified candidates and the remaining 40 percentage of the seats has to be taken from the non net candidates who performed well in the entrance test, okay. So it is what the UGC is going to bring the norms guys. So, so soon it will come into the implementation within uh, three to four months guys. Okay. So have a look at this one. The University Grants Commission, the regulator of the higher education has revised the rules for the admission to the PhD program. Now 60 percentage of the total vacant seats of the academic year has to be filled from the net qualified or else the JRF qualified candidates. and. Remaining 40 percentage of the seats has to be filled up by the university common entrance test. Okay. So common entrance test means the candidates who are having the only post graduation without UGC net, they need to face the entrance test. Got it. So it will be the really uh, wonderful opportunity guys. Okay. So if this type of thing is implemented in the IITs also, then definitely the non UGC net candidates will be definitely benefited in the IAC and IATs, uh, NATs colleges also, okay. So the draft for the revised regulations is being uploaded on the official website of the UGC. The new norms have been put on the official UGC website and made public soon. So based upon the public feedback, the commission will finalize the regulations. So net or the JRF conducted by the NTA, it is the exam that determines the student eligibility to apply for the assistant professor in the universities and the JRF status. So here from now, 60 percentage of the total seats will be taken based upon the net or the JRF and remaining 40 percentage will be filled up by the university or the common entrance test. So the candidates who qualified the net or the JRF, they need not to write the entrance examination. They can directly go for the interview or the viva voice. And the candidates who are having the non UGC net, those candidates has to first clear the written examination. The shortlisted candidates from the written examination will be allowed to attend the interview. Okay. So the for candidates who have passed the entrance test, the selection will be based upon the 70 percentage they will take from the written test, 30 percentage of the marks they will take from the interview. Okay. The syllabus for the entrance test almost it will be the common guys. So like some research analytical comprehensive quantitative aptitude, some, some syllabus will be there. So few of the universities automatically they will mention at the end of the notification. So like it is a syllabus for the so and so departments like that. Okay. And the qualifying marks for the entrance test is minimum 50 percentage of marks you have to score from the entrance test. Out of the 50, there is a 5 percentage relaxation to the candidates belongs to SCST and the OBC non area and the PWD candidates. Okay. So it is a thing guys. The university concern shall devise its own admission process along with the eligibility conditions also. Fine. So these are all the details. I hope that it will be the good news to the non UGC net candidates as well as the net or the JRF qualified candidates that uh, PhD admissions are going to be uh, good for both net qualified or the non net candidates also. Okay. So we hope that this, this thing will be implemented soon. So whenever this regarding this one, if the UGC published in its official website, then immediately I will come up with one more video. Okay. So to get all the such type of updates, subscribe the channel and after subscribing, tap the bell icon. Okay, so don't forget to tap the bell icon guys. If you tap the bell icon, then only you are going to get all my videos as a notifications to your mobile phones. Okay, thank you very much and all the best.